Because Jesus lives, I'm a new creation. When I was about 10 years old, I used to get these headaches that would send a tingling sensation from the top of my head all the way down to my spine. And it would cause really bad headaches and a lot of pain. And so I had went to the doctor and they said that I had a raw nerve. They put me on some medication which caused a lot of other problems. So I began to seek Jesus and, you know, claim my healing and believe that I was healed. And within a few months, I noticed that the headaches had gotten slighter and less severe. And one day I was completely healed and I haven't had any of those headaches since then. So because Jesus lives, I have been healed. You know, the Easter season is such a wonderful time of year. I just love it. Uh, this time of year is a time of hope. We know that Jesus came to earth. He lived on the earth. He died for us. He rose again, and He's in heaven today. It reminds me of that old hymn that Bill Gaither wrote. It says, Because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Because He lives, all fear is gone. Because I know He holds the future, my life is worth the living because He lives. That's a wonderful thought. It's a wonderful comfort to know that Jesus does live in heaven and that all of our loved ones who have to already died, that they live in heaven with Jesus too. My Kip that I lost about three years ago, he's in heaven today. He's with Jesus. So we have that assurance, we have that blessed assurance that we know because Jesus lives, we can face tomorrow. Because Jesus lives, I can wake up each morning filled with joy, filled with happiness, and filled with peace. Because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Because He lives, I know that there's a calling, there's a purpose and a plan that He has called me to, and I will run my race and I will finish my course because Jesus lives. Because Jesus lives, I can go to heaven. So when I was a young adult, then everything changed. I had been invited to church and uh, I went and I gave my heart to Jesus. And that Sunday morning, it was actually July 4th, everything changed. It was really my day of freedom. And Jesus came in, totally changed everything. I had a hope I never knew was possible. I had a joy and a peace. I never knew peace was possible. I could have peace in my mind. So the day Jesus came in my life, everything changed. And I, there's a scripture, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. All things are become new. So I got a brand new, fresh start that I had always dreamed of, always wanted. And uh, Jesus has just been so wonderful to me. He's restored me. He's uh, made me whole. He's given me peace. And I'm just so thankful. Because Jesus leaves, I have no fear of dying. I remember there was a time in my life where I was just so afraid and so consumed with the thoughts of dying. I would always think of what it would be like. It would be so lonely. It would be so dark. I would miss my family. I would miss so many things. But now I know that because Jesus leaves, I have eternal life. I have a home in heaven. I have a place with my Father in heaven. Because Jesus leaves, I have no fear of dying. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon because there's work to be done. But I know that because Jesus leaves, I have a future. I have an eternal home. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Because he lives, I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm not who I used to be. I remember when he healed my body, when they said I, I would never walk again and now I can walk. I remember being sad, depressed, miserable because of, of a childhood of abuse and the Lord healing me and filling me with His joy and His peace and His love. You know, because He lives, I'm here today to be able to tell you everything He's done for me and where my life is now. And it's completely different than it used to be. Because Jesus lives, I have been set free from fear. Because Jesus lives, all fear is God. I can face tomorrow, because I know He's keeping the day He holds tomorrow, and He's alive forever and ever. Because Jesus lives, I have three healthy children. Because Jesus lives, you can live.
because Jesus lives, I get to wake up in the morning. And I also get to enjoy soccer. Because Jesus lives, I am redeemed, I'm restored, I'm free, I'm healed, and I'm loved. Um, I can think about a time where I felt so alone in this world, like nobody cared, but Jesus loved me so much that he gave his life for me. Even if it was just me on this earth, he still would have died for me. So because Jesus lives, I have everything. Because Jesus lives, I have been set free from homosexuality. I no longer struggle with my identity because I know who I am in Christ. Because Jesus lives, I know that whatever I face in life, I can overcome it. Because Jesus lives, I know my family is blessed and covered by the blood. Because Jesus lives, I am set free from depression and suicidal thinking. Because Jesus lives, we were able to have the fulfillment of our dreams. We have a family. We have a family. We had tried everything that we could, and we had tried everything medically that we could to have children. But None we, of it worked. We weren't that fortunate. No. And after we had tried everything that we could, we, 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 we decided, decided it was time for a break. Right. And at that point, we received a phone call. And the phone call was to say, there is a baby, would you be interested? And of course we said yes. Yes. And that child, as of this past Thursday, is now 24 years old. That's right. She came to our lives brand spanking new. God supplied every need that we had. Our wants, our desires were completely fulfilled because of Jesus. And we're so thankful for that. She's been a joy to our life, and uh, it's just been a pleasure for the past 24 years. I'm reminded of Psalm 113, where it says in the last verse, in the message it says, He gives childless couples a family, gives them joy as the parents of children. And we experience that, and it's just such a wonderful thing to be able to put your trust in Jesus and know that He always meets your needs. That's right. And the scripture tells us in the New Testament to seek ye first the kingdom of God and he will give you all these things. And at the point that we decided we've done all that we could, amazingly, God stepped in and provided. Because Jesus says I can be happy. Praise the Lord, Jesus is alive, and because he lives, the resurrection power is alive in me. That same power that raised Jesus from the dead is working in me, working in me to heal, working in me to deliver, working in me to prosper and protect. In the name of Jesus, Jesus is alive. Because Jesus lives, I have a spot in heaven. Because Jesus lives, I am resilient. That means whatever problems or traumatic events that I face then or now, I'm able to get back up and have overwhelming victory in all things. Because Jesus lives, I can face tomorrow. Because Jesus lives, God causes me to triumph in every situation. Since we've been going to Christian Worship Center, God has truly blessed us. Uh, one thing he's done is really helped us in our finances and uh, in our faith walk with him. Uh, we've gone through some things, but by putting our trust and our confidence in him and even concerning finances and every area of our life, he has really, he has really, truly blessed us. Some of the ways Jesus has truly blessed us is um, we had a credit card debt of $22,000 and we got a letter saying that it was totally canceled. So God has truly been good, not only in our finances, but like Desmond said, in other areas too. And it's all because Jesus lives. Because Jesus lives, I can spend eternity with him in heaven. Because Jesus lives, I have peace. I used to be someone who will worry about anything and everything and it will keep me up at night and I will have to get up the next day and go to work and I will just be stressed, 
And it got to the point where I was tired of it. And so I really just got into the word more and I would read more and I would pray more. And then uh, just a peace just came over me and I was able to have peace at night. And now I can just go to sleep and not have any stress at all. And also now I'm about to get married and I have people who will come up to me and like, are you stressed? Is the wedding stressing you at all? I'm like, no, it's not stressing me out. I'm loving every minute of it. And so because Jesus lives, I have peace. Because Jesus lives, we have hope. When our son was born with um, two holes in his heart and a major heart defect, um, we were a little bit shocked. But when I was um, pregnant with him, I was two months pregnant, and the Lord told me, you're going to have to fight for this one. You're going to have to pour the word into this one. Um, you think the other two are great, but I'm going to use him mightily. And he is the beginning of great things. So when we got the report from the doctors that he had these heart defects, we knew that we had hope. We knew that we could stand on God's word and he was going to be the beginning of great things. Because Jesus lives, we can have peace. We could have peace when our son was going through those six heart surgeries and everyone else around us was scared and nervous. We could have peace in the waiting room. Because Jesus lives, we could have peace when he was being medevaced from Alexandria to New Orleans and they said he could have died on the way there. We had peace knowing that Jesus is the healer. Because Jesus lives, our son lives today. When we first got to the hospital in New Orleans, the doctors would give us bad report after bad report. They would say, you know, we tried this method and it didn't work, so we need to do surgery. Or this surgery didn't, didn't do what it was supposed to do, so we need to do another surgery. And that happened time after time, but because of the word that God had given us, because we know that Jesus is our Lord and Jesus is our Savior and Jesus is our healer, we were at perfect peace at all times. Even when they kept telling us that, that he needed more, he needed something else, we knew that God was on our side. We we knew that he would be healed. We knew that he would be whole. We knew that God would bring him through. More specifically, the holes in his heart caused him to not be able to breathe. So just like a normal person would breathe in and out, he breathed very short and shallow and it was he was struggling to breathe. But we stayed fast and we continued to speak the word over him and we constantly had healing music playing in the room. We constantly had an iPad um, full of uh, the word playing in his ears and he heard it and we heard it and so our faith continued to grow and despite the doctor's report which was negative seemingly every time and they said we would have to move him to ICU we continued to move that iPad full of the word and full of music and so our faith continued to grow we never wavered and we just knew we would see a miracle we knew that we would see him raise up and um, grow and so after that last surgery he began to pick up weight and get really chunky and fat like babies do and it was a real victory for us. You know, one of the things that really struck us was how the nurses would tell us that we love just sitting in Logan's room because it's so peaceful. All the other parents were nervous and scared and chaotic. And they said they would just come and sit in his room and listen to the music play and just to, just to be at peace because it was so peaceful in there because the presence of God was in that room. Because Jesus lives, he's in my heart. Because Jesus lives, uh, I know I'm never alone. I know that he's always faithful and he's always going to be right there by my side. I can trust him. I know he will never fail me, no matter how hard it gets. I know I'm made right. I know I'm pure. I know I'm wrapped in the robes of righteousness because Jesus lives. After 30 days after I was discharged from the hospital, the doctor told me when I left, more than likely, I had an enlarged heart and normally it won't, it won't heal. Nine out of 10 times it doesn't. He hasn't never seen it. He said it was bad and uh, for me to start taking care of myself. One month later after I went back to the doctor, he was truly amazed. He, he just couldn't believe it. It was, he knew it was a miracle. My heart had healed, it was totally better and he couldn't explain it. He just looked at the chart and he looked like he was gonna hit the floor himself. Really, he, he said he didn't, he didn't understand it and couldn't explain it. It was truly a miracle. And uh, I thank God for that, so I'm still here and I believe it was a miracle.